The management of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST, in its earlier release said, students who have not paid 70% of their school fees by Thursday, 7th April 2022, will be automatically deferred. As students are set to begin writing mid-semester exams on Monday, 11th April 2022, many students say their fate hangs in the balance as the budgets they applied for have not been approved yet. Francis Corte, a third-year statistics student at KNUST, tells City News his single mother has been struggling to take care of him and as a result, he works during vacations in order to take care of himself. He says he was however not able to work during the last vacation due to ill health and as a result, has not been able to pay his school fees. A previous vacation, I was not well at all. I was working initially in a company at Accra, but I fell sick and then I had to stop and be in the house. So the vacation was exhausted and then I came to school. And here's the case, I've not paid my fees. Nothing at all. So I had to pay too. And I understand the school. The school also needs to run. So we have to make payments so that the systems will be able to run well. But then it's not, uh, it's a genuine reason. It's not for uh, any reason that I'll be there and then say that I won't pay my fees. For another third year student, Nana Kwesi Eshen, who has so far paid 50% of his school fees, he's in a state of dilemma as he fears he'll be deferred and would not be allowed to write his mid-semester exams, which begins on Monday, 11th April 2022. The issue with regards to deferrals um, has brought this kind of unstable mentality on students, which also includes me. For instance, I've paid above 1,000 and left with a um, few amount to pay. I'm supposed to pay around 1,500. So finding money to pay this has been a major problem. And I know there are a number of people on campus who also face such challenges. We are divided as to are we going to study, how are we going to find our fees. So this has brought this kind of stress emotionally, psychologically on we the students. The students have thus urging school authorities to come up with an intervention to support students who are genuinely in need. I am pleading that the school will consider the situation of some of the students like me who has genuine um, situation, uh, genuine reasons for not paying the fees and then give us some time so that we can also make payments. We will plead with management to at least, even though they've been, they've been lenient to us for the past years, to once again extend the deadline so that they, also, they should also consider our mentality or the, the conditions that we face at the moment. Some students, however, believe the university's decision is justified since some students prefer to live lavish lifestyles by spending their school fees. Some students are much more concerned about the lavish lifestyles that they live on campus. Some students, when given the money, they buy maybe iPhones, expensive phones, expensive cars that they use on campus as Ubers and other stuff, just to show off to people. So it's not always about people who can't afford. Some people genuinely can't afford, but some people are given the money and they use it for other stuff. I think that the policy is a good policy because I personally know students who squander their money or use it for investments and then later use the profit or interest to pay their school fees. And then some of them use it for gambling. And so the school is trying to avoid all those issues. And students who have genuine reasons, I think they can go to their VC's office and then address it. The Students' Representative Council, SRC, says it has so far received complaints from about 300 needy students who have been affected by the university's policy. Speaking to City News, the KNUSD SRC president, Michael Abua, says while his outfit is working to ensure that the deadline is further extended, it is also looking at ways of assisting the students financially. We were able to release funds to about 2,380 students on scholarship. That's the KBN, KTBN, so in KNST Bersby. That uh, is a perennial scholarship that the SRC gives to students. But we increase it from um, 1,312 last year 
to a 2,380, a 74.3% increase. And so um, that is one that we've been able to do. Moreover, you're looking up to getting um, monies from the SRC coffers to pay for school fees of students. We have a huge chunk of students. I know that might be on the ricks of the feral, but we've not been able to get access to the data currently. But then we are looking up to the many requests that have been sent to our office for us to treat as agents regarding issues of um, of, of um, um, incapabilities of getting money to pay their fees. What we have been able to do is to put out a request again for a second extension, but that is up to management to agree to it. Meanwhile, the investing management has been justifying why it has taken the decision. Dr. Daniel Norris Bequin is the investor relations officer of KNUST. So if we study, if we, we, have, we have run the semester from uh, February right down to, we are getting to middle of April, where we are beginning mid-semester and you have not registered as a student. It means that you are not prepared to register. We gave opportunity to those students who had problems or issues with or difficulty in payment of their fees to go to their department, the head of department, with, with, with proper excuse. We have channels at West. You could, they could go to the office of the dean of students and they have appropriate remedies for helping those people who have genuine challenges. If you fail to do so as a student, then you can't blame anyone. We cannot be extending the uh, period for you to register your courses. For many students who claim they have genuine reasons for not paying their school fees, they believe an intervention by the university authorities will help relieve them of their plight. For City News, I'm Edward Upon Marvel, KNUSD, Kumase.